Hello friends and welcome to the weekend vlog. <clears throat> it is actually like two o'clock on Saturday and I am deep into a home DIY. So let me flip you around and talk you through it. So we are in the entryway of my house and you guys knew that I was thinking of adding some texture to this wall through some sort of molding. I was originally going to run just straight molding up the wall but I didn't feel like it gave enough dimension once I was looking at it. So I ended up going six feet, two inches up and then running the whole way down here, wrapping it around this corner. Yes, I'm so proud that I did that corner. And then I have stuff everywhere. And then I ended up running it all along these walls too. And over on my Instagram, I actually did a highlights reel step-by-step -step of exactly how to do this, this whole thing, because I already have my paint. It cost me around $76, but it's going to have such a huge impact. And then in this vlog, I'm super excited. We're going to do some restyling of the entryway table and talk through that, but we are in a really good place. I'm just letting things dry. I've sanded everything. I've just cleaned and wiped everything down with a damp cloth because there was so much dust. So now I'm just letting it dry and then we will paint my trim, which is Floral White by Benjamin Moore. It's a little bit of an off-white. So if you look, my molding isn't exactly white, which I love. It's a little bit of a cream, so it has a little bit of warmth to it. So. All of this will become floral white, and then I'm gonna clean up my gray, which is Stonington Gray by Benjamin Moore. I was going to paint everything, but the problem is once I paint, so you can see I have swatches there, I'll have to cover up. Once I paint, I'm gonna have to go the whole way up this staircase, which is super high, which isn't fun to paint, all the way down the second floor hallway. Oh my gosh, I love this new camera and lens. So I'm opting not to do that just because I don't really have the time right now to paint my whole upstairs and I will not pay someone to paint for me because that's something I can do and I enjoy. So I love DIYing though. I would much rather do it myself, have to watch YouTube videos and learn. That's kind of how I grew up. We didn't have money to do things, so my dad fixed and made, and my mom made everything. I love it. I think it's gonna add so much detail to the entryway that felt very flat to me. Kind of how the mudroom felt flat before I did the board and batten. But over on my Instagram, you can see a whole tutorial on how I did it. But let me show you another house update that happened this week. Pardon the mess. The house is in like disarray right now because of everything being moved all around. Um, I do realize that my disarray might be different than other people's disarray, but to me, this is a mess. So I've really loved the idea of getting open shelving in my kitchen. However, the way my kitchen layout is, there's no real great place to put it. I guess one option would be to do something on the sides there, but I didn't love it. So I started toying with the idea of like, where else in my kitchen area could I get open shelving? And I think this is something you can all think about. So I took down the crane wallpaper. There's a reason why people are gonna be like, you just put that up, why would you take it down? There's something about this paint. This is the first time I ever tried wallpapering on this paint. And I think it might be the finish they chose because that's my kitchen color. The wallpaper was bubbling up places around the light socket down in this corner and it was driving me bonkers so I thought what a great option to do open shelving there so Steven installed these shelves for me they're beautiful and they're that rustic a little bit of a honey maple color which ties into all of my picture framing in my dining room so really happy with that and then last night I finally got them all styled and look how stunning they look so I did a lot of terracotta. All of my terracotta pieces are from McGee and Co. And then just put up some white dessert plates, these canisters, which I love. They're, I found them on eBay because I was looking for them, but I have now since found them on Amazon. I'll leave them linked. And then I have that little picture up there that's from Studio McGee. And then some creamer and sugar things. I do have to do a little bit of touch up painting around here, but 
We'll get to that. Little DIYing, but if you wanna learn how to do all of that, hop on over to my Instagram. It's super cheap, but a huge impact. All right, friends, I'm sorry. Earlier, I realized I forgot to flip the mic around, so the audio should be better, but it looks amazing. I love that it wraps around this little corner right here, that angle. I can't believe I even got it to work, but it's looking good. Now I'm thinking about styling this table, and the first thing, I don't wanna spend any money on it. <laughs> um, I really just wanna use things that I have. That doesn't work anymore. I don't like the white against the white. It, I need some more warmth. I have these two baskets that I think I'm going to put down there instead. It adds the warmth that I need because this honeyish color is a color that is throughout the house. I also think I might nix the lantern, but I do know that I need to balance out the warmth. Also on Instagram, I got a lot of questions about my rug. It's by Magnolia. Let me sub those out, wipe that down, and then we'll play with the top a little bit. Okay, friends, so this is where I'm at with it right now. I definitely love the warmth of those two baskets. And then up here, I ended up taking that peace sign, surprisingly, and layering it over a piece of art, and I actually think it looks really rad. I love it. So I just need something to kind of fill this space. And if you remember, this used to be in a basket, but I didn't want so much woven, so I just changed it out for a planter instead. I like the idea of this lamp, and it could totally work over here. I do think I need to prop it up to give it some height. So maybe like a stack of books. And then my tip two friends, I don't have a plug over there. So what I will end up doing is with really strong Velcro, I'm actually going to put this puck light right there and then I'll be able to turn it on and have the light. It's a weird sun time, so like it's hard to see, but it will work. That is like one of my favorite tricks when you don't have a plug where you want one. So I think I am gonna do that lamp. I need to find some books, preferably like black books. So I'm gonna go wander the house, find some black books to prop that up on. And I think I might be set. Here is the finished styling. Steven and I actually both agree we're not gonna bring back our antique pillar. It's like a piece of a banister. I really like how clean this looks. So to bring my grays together, I did do gray books in these limestone gray, actually soapstone gray candle, candle holders. And then I brought in my warmth with those baskets. I think this looks amazing. I'm really, really happy with it. And then this piece ties in. And then I also just lean the art against there as well. What a difference this makes. I'm blown away. Hey, how proud are you? I'm very proud, and I was work all day on that to see you did a very good job. I'm really happy with it. All right, friends, we're gonna have to think about dinner now. <laughs> I'll catch up with you guys either tonight or tomorrow. Steven is being amazing and making dinner for me. That was an all day event. I know, I can't believe you did it. And I can't believe you stayed upstairs all day to avoid me. <laughs> That's the way we roll. Neither one of us uh, has, uh, neither one of us disturbs the other one's projects because then um, things start flying. Oh, I got so that right. That's when the fur starts flying. I, uh, I have been married to you long enough to know that what are we having for dinner? We're having chicken curry. Um, or, sorry, chicken tikka masala, which I have made and saved over all day. You cooked a chicken breast and heated up some jarred curry sauce. And a rice. He did have a jar of tomato sauce out because I think he was going to attempt his own curry. What made you sure. not do it? The first, um, the first curry jar that I had was open from the store, so it was bad. So I was going to make my own because I didn't want to go out, but then I did go out to Walmart and I bought some of their curry. Because he realized he didn't know how to make his own. I know, I didn't know Maybe that will be our cooking next week. I'll I teach you how to make it. We only did one. Uh, I know, this week got crazy for both of us. It is 
about 7.30 and I wasn't going to vlog anymore tonight, but I found this new company called Holistic Habit and they have the cutest things at some really good price points. So I wanted to show you what I picked up and I'm actually going to use it for some styling on my open shelves outside my pantry. So these two little berry baskets, they're so adorable. And then this canister with the spoon, these little terracotta like pinch pots. And then I loved this. And then these two rainbow mugs. So cute, right? I'm gonna use some of these on those shelves. And now I'm really gonna sign off until tomorrow. Good morning, friends, and happy Sunday. I'm getting a little bit later start than I wanted only because I was so tired that I like slept in this morning, but I love this new camera. I'm just looking over in the lens, minus my sleep hair. I thought I'd quickly show you the entryway now that I have a little bit better lighting than I did when I finished last night. It looks, it looks stellar. So much more texture and character, and it also makes it feel so much brighter in there. We are getting ourselves settled in. Oh, also, I have two new puzzles. I love Rifle Paper Company puzzles. So these two came this weekend. I need to put them with the rest of my puzzles, but definitely, definitely want to get those done. Right now there's not a lot going on. I'm just getting the day started. <laughs> We'll see what we get into today. I really have zero expectations just because yesterday was a busy, busy day. I have bad news. The ink and volt planner I bought at the beginning or end of Vlogmas for 2021, I tried to use it, I set it up, and what I found is that maybe my planner style or what I need has really changed because I found that planner a little bit stressful because there are so many things to fill out every week between like reflections and new goals and new plans. And it just seemed like a lot. So I found the Dapper Desk Planner by Emily Lee first. I love the faux leather cover. I think it's stunning. I love how simple the emblem is on it. There's like nothing on it. And then I also just love the layout. So it is literally an hourly schedule, a to-do list, and then just a blank space to do whatever you want. I love the size of it. I love how large the monthly boxes are, but that is literally all that it is. It is daily pages and a monthly spread, and I'm finding that I really, really like it. I just love the simplicity and the cleanness of it all. I just feel like to have like an obligation to fill out so many things for the week, it just didn't, it just seemed like a lot. And right now, I need things a little bit more streamlined. I used it all last week, and I really, really enjoyed it. It's the Dapper Desk Planner by Emily Lee. She makes a simplified planner, and like, <laughs> it's truly simplified. But I'm really happy with it. So this is the one we're gonna go with, and we'll see how long it lasts. Like I said, my planner piece is switching out my planners, but so far, I really, really do like this a lot. All right, friends, it is four o'clock. Today has totally gotten away from me. I had some work to do, and I also needed some time to relax since yesterday. But I am actually prepping dinner, and I thought this is such an easy one because I don't feel like doing a lot this evening. So I'm gonna talk you through what I'm going to do. So I'm gonna grill up some chicken breast, easy peasy, and I'm going to put that on a bed of whole wheat couscous. And then I haven't decided what vegetable I might make to go with it. I might just steam a bunch of veggies and put it on the side. But what makes this so good is the dressing I put on top of the couscous and chicken. And then I will actually save this for the week. So I have zero measurements <laughs> for you, but I'll tell you what I have in here. So I don't like cilantro, so I use a whole handful of fresh parsley. I have two cans of diced green chilies, uh, probably about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of honey, a large clove of garlic, salt and pepper, and yeah, that's it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start this on low and then also stream in some grapeseed oil. You wanna use grapeseed oil in this or a really mild oil in general because you don't want it to overpower. 
Another thing I love to do with this dressing is do almost like Buddha bowls, so like some quinoa, and then this is really good on like radishes and just some diced up cucumbers and tomatoes and just make like a big bowl of quinoa and raw vegetables and put this dressing on top. This dressing is just phenomenal, but it's just a quick and easy dinner that it feels a little bit more elevated than just something normally you would just toss together. So this is one of my go-tos. All right, friends, so we're gonna wrap up the vlog. I'm bummed that my footage for the entryway didn't work here, but it's all documented on Instagram. You can hop over there, you can follow it. It goes step by step through the whole thing. That's where I'm going to put a ton of highlights for recipes and DIYs and all the things. I'm gonna really utilize Instagram in 2021, but we still got an entryway makeover, some planner talk, some new products that I found that I really, really love, as well as a quick dinner recipe. I think that is a successful weekend vlog. So I'm gonna sign off like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, my friends, bye-bye. Mm -hmm.